by Gemini. Let's start with some smudge of juniper here. Thank you, Spirit, for cleansing the space of the energy of past readings. Three chimes to bring in positive energy. This is a general tarot card reading for the sign of Gemini. If you have Gemini anywhere in your birth chart, this is your reading. It is a general tarot card reading, so do take what resonates with you and leave the rest. You know what is for you and what is not for you. Welcome to Remedies Alchemy and Tarot. My name is Greta. I am an intuitive reader. I do look at the sun, moon, and planetary placements to get an idea of the energy that is surrounding you at this time. I do also look at your horoscope. But first and foremost, I do trust my intuition. And it is my intention during this tarot card reading that you learn to trust and listen to your inner your inner wisdom, your intuition, that voice, that guidance. I think that um, the tarot cards and the horoscopes are wonderful places to verify, to vet our uh, intuition. Thank you, Spirit. Those cards were determined to come out. We'll take those. That Knight of Pentacles coming up for you. Beautiful cards coming up for you. That Ace of Cups, the Temperance. A lot of Akana cards there in your uh, personal life, your private life, Aquarius. High expectations. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for the Gemini. What would you like the Gemini to know or to be aware of during or for this reading? Thank you, Spirit. Messages for the Gemini. One more card for the Gemini. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for the Gemini. Ooh, Knight of Cups, Knight of Pentacles. Slow moving, moving forward. Gemini. The basis, the foundation of your tarot card reading this week is the King of Swords agreements. And these agreements can be either verbal agreements or written agreements or some kind of contract. It may be a soul contract. And it's a contract, it's an agreement that directly affects your future and moving forward in your future following your passions, following your desires. And let's see how these contracts or these agreements play into the rest of your cards here this week, Gemini. And in your public life, in your professional life, in your work, your job, your career, school, or education, we find the Five of Pentacles. And this Five of Pentacles is a perceived missed opportunity. It's like there's a door that we think has been closed to us. What I will tell you, Gemini, if something is meant for you, it will not pass you by. If something is destined for you, it will find a way into your life. If something is not meant for you, if something is not destined for you, it will find a way out of your life. Many times we experience the energy of the five of pentacles because we've really set very high expectations. And that is followed by the three of pentacles. And this is social. You are a very social being. You are the social butterfly of the zodiac. And yes, you are the social butterfly of the zodiac. And being social really plays into your strengths. And here we have the 
Three of Cups, and that Three of Cups is the celebration of the harvest. And the three in tarot represents time, creativity, mystery, and also our intuition. The cups in tarot represents love, nurture, and our inner being. It's almost like um, that your intuition, that spirit within you, and that spirit within each of us is our foundation. Um, that spirit within us is what we base everything on. And the pentacles in the tarot represents the physical, um, the external being. Um, it's like, uh, these two cards, it's like your creativity, your artistic passion, your artistic fire, your passions, your fire, your, your soul calls for creativity. And it's that creativity, that inner creativity, that inner light that is creating a social foundation here for you. What is this? Gemini, you are a kind, loving soul. And because you are such a kind, loving soul, it wounds you very deeply when you let others down. There's, and I don't know if you feel that you've let yourself down or that you feel that you've let other people down in your professional life, in your public life. Uh, in, it's like you agreed to something or you expected something. We've set high expectations. And because we set those high expectations, for ourselves or for others. And if we don't totally reach the goal, we feel that we've let ourselves down or we let someone else down. And that is what I'm seeing here. That is what I'm feeling here is that you feel like you let people down and you've let people down. I don't know if it's because they set high expectations or you've set high expectations for yourself. And I really do believe that in this situation, anyone would have had a hard time achieving what they've asked you to do or what you have asked yourself to do. You know, don't give up. That is what spirit is saying here is, don't give up. You have set the bar very high or the bar has been set very high for you. Keep your eye on the prize and take small steps forward. And, you know, it's those small steps forward that are the key to success. And I believe your success comes here from using and joining forces with others. I think if you let other people know where, when, and how you need help, they're going to be very happy to offer you a lending hand. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for the sign of Gemini in their love life, their home life, their personal life. And here we start with the Six of Swords, the quiet transition, moving on, moving forward, moving past. The Ace of Cups, spiritual and emotional fulfillment. The Temperance card, 
again, transformation. There's been a lot of transformation here, transformation and change that has been going on in your private life, in your personal life. And this transformation, it's we're not adding or subtracting anything to our life. We're just transforming it. We're changing. We're changing. And justice, perhaps maybe you're dealing with a legal matter, a legal agreement. Gemini, if you've been in a long distance relationship, and I see this long distance relationship being in chaos, there's something very chaotic, very uncomfortable about this relationship, this long distance relationship. There's something very chaotic about a distance that there is between you and another person. There has not been openness. There has not been an honest communication. And I don't know if it is you or the other person that is wanting to have more than one person involved in their life at a time. Whatever this is here, Gemini, it's toxic. It's toxic for you and it is toxic for that other person. It's best to set very clear boundaries and really keep your distance from this person. I would say even disconnect from this person. Um, if you are wanting to have multiple people in your life, have multiple relationships in your life, I think that it is very important that you let others or other potential partners in your life know that you are interested in having multiple relationships so that they can act accordingly. And I think the same is true for you, Gemini. If you are in a relationship with someone that wants to have multiple partners, I think that it's very important that you be open to hearing that and you being open to either that is something that is going to work for you or something that is not going to work for you. I, I, I'm just not feeling a lot of positive energy about this connection. And so there's a lot of red flags here. And I am strongly urging you to look at each one of those red flags and address those red flags in open and honest communication with this other person or with these other people. And be very clear. And if you're unable to have an open, honest communication with anyone, that is the first red flag that is indicating that this is not your person. These are not your people. We have very high expectations in love, Gemini. You have very high expectations in love. And if we would like to reach those expectations or achieve those expectations, it begins with open, honest communication, regardless of what the outcome is. It's better to peel off the boundary quickly than slowly. Thank you, Spirit. Final messages, final thoughts for the Gemini. And here we start with the Knight of Pentacles, which is the Knight of Pentacles is the only knight in the tarot that his steed is not in movement. He has actually taken a break. He's taken a pause to look at and appreciate what it is that he has. 
And to get a good look at the big picture, take a pause, take a break and consider what direction are you going? Where would you like your life to go? And that is followed by the page of wands. And again, the page of wands, we can see the page of wands has taken a break. He's not following the Knight of Pentacles is not following worldly things, physical things. The page of wands is looking at his passions, looking at his desires, looking at what it is that drives him and looking at what it is that motivates him. But he's not taking action. He's just paused. He's taking a time out. He's taking a break to consider, to ponder what it is that he wants. Oh my gosh, spirit really has <laughs> all three of these cards here <laughs> telling, indicating this Gemini, pause, take a break, take time to consider, look at all of the work, look at all of the energy that you have put into something and consider, has it really been worth it? Has the amount of energy you put in dealt back to you the amount of energy that you would, are you seeing the results that you would like to see? Take time to think, take time to consider and then move slowly and steadily I, I love that we have the pentacles we have the wands we have the uh yeah we we don't okay what we what we don't have we have the water the yeah we have okay <laughs> sorry about that i just because very rarely do we get four cards right in a row like this, all saying, stop, think, question, consider, get a good idea of the big picture. Think of your long-term goals. Think of your long-term vision and keep that vision before moving forward. Gemini, you have very high expectations and you are bringing in, you are creating an incredible fortune for yourself. Don't give up and don't be discouraged. Keep your eye on the prize in order to win, but to manifest, to create everything that you're wanting to create, to bring to life. Um, it's going to require a new look and a new alignment with your past and or with, with your uh, past, present and future. We need to align. It's, it's almost like spirit is indicating that there are choices and decisions here that you are making that in the long run are not going to align you with that incredible fortune that you are wanting to manifest, that you are wanting to create. 